Hi, this is Tracy Davis making a quick tutorial on how to use Photo Bucket. Now you'll notice at the top of my screen that I am at photobucket.com and so I'll encourage you to go ahead and do the same thing. And we're going to actually sign up for a new account. This is actually a resource that I use a lot uh, for creating websites and uh, various other usage uh, as far as uh, placing ads on Craigslist and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and create and we'll call this um, sample site and we'll just create a password really quick and we'll call it sample site 2 since they say that it's not available okay and I'll just give it um, an email here very simple process Okay, and let's go ahead and do the capture real quick. I don't like these, but there's so many robos out there that they want to make sure that you're a real person. So let's see if I did it right. Okay, and it is thinking. And it looks like that now we have an account called Sample Site 2. Okay. Now, once you actually have a site, you can then upload pictures. Now, you can get pictures from something that maybe you took a picture of, or you can actually get pictures from uh, Google Images, for an example. So for this sample, what we're going to do is actually go to Google and save a, save a picture. So we're going to go to Google, and let's go to Images. Okay. Google Images and let's get a picture of a car okay so let's do a car for this particular example okay so now we've pulled up an image on Google um, okay so we'll just choose this um, red BMW okay and what we'll do is I'm gonna actually um, right click on it and save the image as and we will call it, you know, we'll let, let the name stay, okay? Now while it is saving it, what we'll do, give it a moment to do that. <clears throat> so now it shows that it is saved. We're going to go right back to uh, Photo Bucket. And we're going to upload it. There's an upload button here. You'll notice we're back on Photo Bucket. And so there is an upload button. You click that and then you'll select your photos and videos. Now, of course, since I just did that, it's right here in my recent places. I'm going to open that up. My son is going to get me for that. There it is. Going to open it. And it is uploading. Now we're going through all of this because I want to show you how easy it is that anytime you need My HTML, so they're itchy, dry, and uncomfortable. Let's view the album. Okay. And there's our picture. Now when we click on our picture, you'll notice that there are several links over here. This brilliant resource has actually um, has a picture of this BMW and we can use a link to email that picture, have a direct link, the HTML code which is what we're going to use and the IMG code. So when you click on it, the HTML code, it says copied and then you can take that and place that on your blog, you can place that on a web page that you're creating um, just so many different uses um, because you're using a resource called photobucket.com. So that's my tip for today. Once you um, are ready to go to the next level, I want you to visit me at mysuccesszone.com. 
where we will show you how to build your own blog and be able to use HTML code, IMG code, etc. This is Tracy Davis signing off, hoping that this lesson today has been a blessing to you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.